This week's video is brought to you by Quid. Quid is an awesome new app on iOS and Android where you could collect cool stickers, cards, toys for free. Quid has thousands of free stickers from shows like these. Collect Funko Pop figures. Quid also has tons of digital toys that you could collect, trade, and play with. Both of these movies were developed by the Walt Disney Company, so I guess you could argue nobody could really copy off of themselves. There's a party going on on this boat, and the three guys in the sailor outfits are performing cover songs entertaining the crowd. One of the guys on the boat goes overboard and starts drowning, but it's his lucky day because somebody saves his life. We find out that that somebody is a mermaid. From a distance, her life seems perfect. She goes exploring in shipwrecked clubhouses all day without a care in the world. I mean, that's cool and everything, but she wants more. So after she saves her Prince Charming's life, she drops him off at the beach and she sees him he sees her and they fall in love instantly she runs away back into the water and the guy's so blinded by love he doesn't even notice she has fins for legs during her last splash the mermaid girl goes back underwater and her life isn't the same when true love is in my action so she runs away from home which is surprising because i didn't even know you could run away when you don't even have any legs she gets booty naked and goes to the surface to be with her love interest happily ever after is like 300 miles away because here's the catch she could only stay for a limited time and if she passes her dad Line, it'll basically suck for her. And she's only got three days. Alan, I only have three days left. When the two lovebirds reunite, they're both at a loss for words. Literally, I mean, because the mermaid can't talk at all. It doesn't really matter because the dude likes his women seen and not heard anyway. Things start moving fast, and the main guy moves the main girl in with him before he even knows her name. You know, I feel really bad not knowing your name. What's your name? They're happy as hell the moments they spend time together, and it's sort of like a vacation for the two. The mermaid gets tons of souvenirs from our world, and the guy gets souvenirs too when somebody buys him a statue as a gift. So things are going great. Later on, he takes her out to dinner, and it's a bit of a turnoff when he sees her dinner etiquette. After that, he proposes, and this causes the love interest to run away crying. Awkward. The poor unfortunate soul's life is ruined, and it gets ruined even more when he finds out she's a mermaid a couple of scenes after that. But the Prince Charming standards are lower than Aladdin's credit score, because even though he finds out her thing thing smells like fish he doesn't even care and still wants them anyway one of the characters gets shocked by lightning and that's when the action picks up we get a water battle in the third act lover boy jumps in and you could tell he's out of his element but when the good guys start fighting dirty they make it a fair fight the two lovers realize the only way they could ever be together is for one of the characters to give up their life family and world and can't ever come back like the jerry curl they rock paper scissors it up and live happily ever after those are 24 reasons these movies are the same you agree yes no maybe so if not not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below and click the subscribe button for more 24 reason videos <gasps>